Right, we're looking at this question now, 2.3. So Mike is 45 years old and earns a monthly taxable income of 39,275.85 in the tax year 2023 slash 2024. Um, she does not belong to medical aid. So that's quite important because remember when you belong to a medical aid, you get rebates. So we're not, that's very important to actually do a tax calculation. Annex A shows the annual tax table for individuals for this tax year. So make sure you go get Annex A. I have it here next to me. Well, you should be familiar with the setup now, but we'll go through it. Use Annex A and the information above to answer the questions that follow. So identify the tax bracket that Mike will use to calculate her income tax payable. Now remember when we work out taxable income, we have to work it out annually. And so we have to change this amount over here into an annual amount because monthly amounts are not how we figure out what tax bracket someone's in. So we're going to start by working out what is her annual salary. Okay, so there's that. That's her monthly. There's 12 years in a month, uh, 12 years in a, 12 years in a month, 12 months in a year. So pop that into your calculator there, 275,85 times it by 12, and that is then her annual salary. So write that out nicely. That's her annual salary. Then what you need to do is you need to say, okay, well, which tax bracket is she then in? Well, given that amount, I would say she's in tax bracket C because that 471 lies between 370 and 512. So you don't have to write that out because I've given you, they've labeled the tax brackets and you can say, therefore, tax bracket C. So you can say she sits in or you can, you know, give a little bit of a sentence, but as long as you say tax bracket C, you're in the all clear. Okay. Now the next question, which you should be anticipating is going to be, please calculate her tax. So let's just label the question correctly. Let's read the question. Calculate annual tax payable for this year okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to say okay we know that she's in tax bracket c so in tax bracket c you pay 77362 okay i'm just going to highlight that so that you see what i'm saying okay so she pays 77362 and then she pays 31 percent of taxable income above 370, okay? So it's not 31% of everything, it's only on the amount that's above 370. So she's gonna pay that, and she's gonna pay 31% of her income that is above 370,500. So you have to basically say her total annual taxable income minus that amount right because that this is the amount that is above 370 right you're not going to times this whole thing by 31 percent it's only the amount that is above 370 so be careful with your calculations there so just pop this into your calculator 77362 plus 31 percent times 4713102020 subtract the 370 500 should actually close that little bracket there and my answer is 108613.162 so that's i'm not going to round it off right now that's how much she has to pay well we know that obviously there's other things that have to be taken to, into consideration for example tax rebates everyone gets this tax rebate so i need to subtract that off then if she was above 65 or 75 she'd get additional ones and then it says here, tax threshold, so it's basically saying, if someone earns less than 95750 then they don't pay tax, um, or that's that's the minimum amount they have to pay. Um, then So we're not going to actually look at that right now. And then here's the medical aid contributions. She doesn't pay medical aid, so we're not going to take that into consideration. So let's start here and then work our way down to make sure that we understand. So let's take off her primary. So we say... 108.613.162, and we take off 17235. So 
So we take that off, okay? So then say subtract one, seven, two, three, five. Okay. And then we have nine, one, three, seven, eight, point one, six. Okay. So that amount there is going to be the amount that she's going to pay, right? Over here, it was basically saying, this is the under 65s, if you earn that amount or less, you won't get taxed. So we know that she earns way more than that. So she is going to be taxed. So we're going to completely ignore this table as well. So we took account of this table and this table, and that's her amount that she'll pay for tax, right? Why did I round off one sixth? Because remember, it's a round amount. We don't keep that two in. So that's an important thing to note. It asks for the annual amount, so we don't have to change anything there. We don't have to divide it by 12. Sometimes questions do ask for monthly, so just read carefully. But that's our final answer there. The only thing we've forgotten is to put a round value in. After we put the round value in, we are, are um, ready to go. And that is how much tax she pays in a year or in the 2023-2024 tax year. Hope that makes sense. Let's move on to question three.